I've never been this nervous to meet a girl. Like, be before first dates, like, like, I'm not, okay, I'm not capping, I've never been this nervous to meet a girl. <sighs> we made an Instagram reel making fun of this, like, very kind young lady. Now she invited us into her life to get to know her more. Guys, I'm kind of, I, I want to go home. <sighs> Guys, I, I like, I... Up to you guys. Cool. Do you do like <laughs> oh my god. Good to meet you. Good to meet hi, you. Hi, how are you? You already know Gorlock the Destroyer. Occupation is a certified bad bitch. I just want to give a quick shout out to your dad for paying for my dream. Your man is probably in my fucking DMs and I could have had him as a body literally last week if I wanted to. I'm a trans girl. Like, they I'm just a fetish. <laughs> 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 but I don't give a fuck about that. I'm here to show you guys a version that the internet has never seen before. By going through her hardest workout, her favorite activity, and finally conquering her biggest fear. So at the end of all this, we'll both know Ali C. Lopez. Yeah. They've seen you on these podcasts getting like fucking roasted by people. For sure. First off, I don't know how you take it, but I like I can't. I get one hate comment and like, you know, I, I cry about it. I, I don't grew up that. with brothers, so they, I feel like honestly, they built me up growing up. <laughs> that takes, that, yeah. So you already imagine like how fucking crazy that is. But let's do it. Yeah. Also, another thing, I don't think I mentioned this to you, but I was literally 425 pounds. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. And I dropped all the way down to like 310. Fuck. Congratulations. Did yeah. you do it? Was it healthy or was it really tough? It was really tough. Yeah. I, don't, I think that's a lot of things people too, like don't really take into consideration mm -hmm. too. Like it's fucking hard. Dude, it's, 100%. You have to put in the fucking work. Yeah. So I know everything. Not everything, but for the most part, like the sacrifices it takes yeah. to make life changes like that. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, awesome. This all started because I was a dick and I made I made a video just shitting on you, basically. Yeah. Like how he takes a dilla. I'm way too skinny. Who's skinny? So what made you still want to connect and show yourself like this? Why not use an opportunity to show people? like a more real and realistic side of myself because yeah, the bad bitch is fun and cool and pretty or whatever the fuck it is you want to call it. But it sometimes it, it won't, it doesn't come off as relatable. So how did it all start? They've seen the clips, but like. So I've been on TikTok since I think like, like everybody. Yeah. Like when quarantine happened, a guy that I was talking to at the time mm -hmm like really pissed me off and i think i posted something like he ghosted me but that's okay because his roommate dm me hey i woke up the next morning and it had over a million views oh shit yeah and i was like oh shit like oh shit like damn just keep posting keep posting keep posting like it took that one video and that's all we needed and just keep going now why do you think it is that like those videos did really well I mean, let's be real, like, I'm a big bitch. Like, I know I'm big. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> big bitch. Yeah. That's a funny yeah. one. <laughs> like, I'm a big bitch. I'm not delusional. I grew up to have fucking thick skin. I went through the worst when I was younger yeah. and in middle school and maybe even a little bit of high school. Is there anything in particular? Like, um, I actually never talked about this on the internet before. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's whatever's comfortable. No, we can talk about it because, cool. I mean, I'm, I'm okay now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've been okay for years. But when I was younger, I went through a lot with my family okay. and me coming out. I think at the time too, I think I was just really young and didn't realize like, you know, you grew up in a traditional Mexican household. Mm -hmm. You can't expect for everybody to be on the same wavelength as you yeah. when they're coming from such an older generation and they were raised with certain values. Um, was the first thing that happened that, that podcast? Mm, that was like the first ever social media thing I did. So when I was asked, I agreed to it and mm -hmm. without doing my research. <laughs> 
And when I finally agreed to it, I was like, oh shit. Cause I did my research after and I was like, damn. I took it upon myself to go get edibles. It literally hit like five minutes before we went live. Cause there's no fucking way in hell, like sober me or at least would be like, hi, my name is Hallie. And I'm your certified bad bitch. So wait, so before that you weren't, you wouldn't say stuff like that? I mean, I would, but like to my friends, like mm. to like people I'm cool with. Wow, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm like a fucking, I know I, I always say I'm a fucking 10. A fat fucking 10? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's comments, a cool mindset yeah, to it's have. A, it's a good mindset to have well, and so, I love so you know, having that mindset. But Cause I fucking... feel like a lot of people hate on you because they're like, how can she believe that? That's not the ideal beauty standard. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, like obviously I know like visually I'm not a fucking 10. Like <laughs> I'm not a fucking Kylie or a Victoria's Secret model. Like, okay. But I feel like my fucking confidence level is at a 10 and that's mm. what makes me a 10. Is, I, is it real confidence? I do have my confidence and it's 100% cool. realistic. Did I gain it overnight? Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Mm. I've never been this fucking confident. But it took a lot for me to get here. And I feel like I put in the fucking work. What, what does that work look like? For me, it's just learning not to give a fuck what anybody says. Because at the end of the day, like, you have one fucking life to live. And I'm not going to look back when I'm 30 and be like, Oh, wow, I really spent my 20s fucking crying when people said, No, fuck you. Like, sorry for my potty mouth, but, like, you're not going to tell me how to live. And you're, if I'm being honest, that's why I'm choosing to work out. Yeah, I want to have a longer, healthy life. And cool. I'm not delusional. And everybody thinks, like, oh, well, you promote obesity. You don't know the struggles that I go through to have to, to why I am the way that I am right now. Like, I have, like, <laughs> bitch, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> yeah. But, like, so when I was going through the weight loss journey that I mentioned earlier, I didn't realize it, but I struggle with binge eating. Yeah. I struggle a lot with I binge did, eating. I did too. I mean, I eat fairly normal, but I mm. have episodes where I have anxiety or my yeah. depression kicks in, and all I want to do is eat. Yeah. That's your cope. Is there a part of you that's scared that maybe one day you do get down to that size too? Mm -hmm. That you will lose an identity? No. Because I know who I am. I know exactly who I am. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, well, <laughs> I almost killed us all, guys. <laughs> Never let the Asian guy drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She the hood, Mona Lisa, break a boy into pieces, had to exit. You're taking us through. I'm the student today. I like to start off with stretching. I've never done this shit in my life. I can't fucking touch my toes. Oh my god, she's so much more flexible than me. Oh my back. This is a struggle for me. How many days a week are you working out now? Right now, just three. Holy shit. Dude, what the? My ball's gonna hurt. Same. <laughs> I literally just want to lose all the weight. We are good. Okay, we're good. Thank God. I also feel every part of my pelvis has snapped, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. Next is treadmill. How long does the workout take you per day? 45 minutes to an hour. Mm. I'll start at like a 2.8, work my way up to 3.5. That's way more than I do. <laughs> Holy fuck. Nasty. Oh, wow, you bumped it up again? What the fuck? I'm live. Have you seen yourself drop weight since you started doing this again? I don't keep watching my weight. I just feel better, like mentally. Okay, sweet. That's the best. Leave the shades on, guys. Put the shades on. Yeah, this is the baddie workout. How does it feel? It feels pretty bad. Keep a watch, keep a whip, yo. It's really a game of Simon Says I'm still the shit, yo. I'm still the shit, yo. Yeah, take a rest because we gotta save some for later too. So just do what's comfy. Sassy, moody, nasty. Acting, stupid, what's happening? Bitch, what's happening? Yeah, she is savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. Acting, stupid. What the fuck? Good work. Mm -hmm. That's tough. Thanks. You're pushing it. Awesome. I'm the guy who's supposed to be the push and pass failure, like work your ass off, and I'm fucking getting outworked. The workout was fucking successful. We're gonna trade. I'll do the bodybuilding. She teach me how to pose like a bad bitch. Like Wait, like what? this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do the, the full confidence when you do it. Because if you're just like this, like it's lame, right? You gotta like have the side chest. Here, we'll hit it for this one. That's it. That's the Giga Chat pose, man. That's <laughs> kick ass. Ass and look good. Thank you.
What's your What's your type of man? Six foot Hispanic. Fuck. Money. Fuck. It's always six <laughs> foot, guys. No, I mean it's not like no, a no, must. no. It's all good. It's all good. No, it's whatever. It's, it's whatever. Not like a must. No, no, no. It's all good. We don't have to talk about it. But it's, it's preferred. All good. Six feet, six figures, six inches. Mm. Is that correct? More like eight inches. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> what the fuck, guys? So yeah, when I was in eighth grade, I begged my fucking parents for like combat boots. And they finally got them for me. They're like three, four hundred dollar, like expensive ass fucking combat boots. Yeah. I had them for like a week. I had to dress out with the boys. I had to change in my geeky clothes. So I remember at the time I wore the boots, mm -hmm. and I locked my locker. And I put my boots in there. And I wore Converse to go and I think we were like watching the track that day or something. And I got back and my boots were in the toilet. And oh, they wow. had, they had every, they had like anything you can think of that was thrown on them. Yeah. Was thrown on them. It is what it is now. I'm chilling. But like I said, it took for shit like that to happen to me to have the skin that I do today. So whenever people fucking leave like shitty ass comments under my posts, I'm just yeah. like, you think you're telling me something I haven't heard before? Oh, wow. How do you, yeah, how do you take that? Because I've never seen in my life, man, four thousand hate comments people are telling you like you're a bad role model mm -hmm. you, you should people are, i've seen people tell you to kill yourself mm -hmm. i don't know these people mm. and they even with, when i work with people with podcasts or whatever like you, you're as shitty as it is of the shit that they say i yeah. don't know them and they only know 15 percent of what it is that i decide to show them you okay. know? So you do go clubbing like a yeah. couple times, right? I think it's not necessarily the clubbing. It's just like my cousins and my closest friends were just like having the best fucking time. I used to be big party guy, big clubber. Like, but then I, I think for me, I was mainly doing it for like the validation of it. You know, I was like, oh, all the cool kids are doing it. How long have you been vaping for? Like a year. Oh yeah? yeah? How addicted are you now? I don't know. I think I can leave the house without it. When I used to vape, I used to freak out like 10 minutes without it. I freaked the fuck out. I make my friends like drive to the, to the store bookshop. just to get one. Hmm? Like the nearest bookshop? Yeah. What's like one, just the one biggest lesson you learned this year? This year? This year alone would have to be just like not take everything so serious. Or not to take people's opinions so serious. How did you do that? What steps? Um, honestly, staying off my phone. Yeah. Trying my best to stay off my phone. Like if I'm not really like, if I'm on my phone, it's because I'm texting one of my friends, not even really checking Instagram or social media. Gotcha. So, I wouldn't necessarily say staying off my phone, but staying off of social media. Cool. Like, as much as I love to post and stuff like that, like, I also set limits for myself. Yeah. Just so that I'm able to... You're a producer, not a consumer. Yeah, I think that's the word. Do you guys want to see a photo of me when I was at my smallest? When sure, I was sure. about to get the bypass? But I used to eat extremely clean, like... Mm. Maybe not like extremely clean, but like I would eat very, very clean. And there was one day I remember I was like having a, a binging episode. And what, but what I used to do when, when I was losing the weight, I would just eat like spoons of peanut butter. Oh, what the, dude, that's me. What the fuck? Do you really? I made a whole video was telling people, yeah, that's exactly what I used to yeah. do. Exactly. Yeah. What the fuck? I that is, what? That's the most, I, whoa, that was so relatable to me. There's so many ways that you can mm -hmm. lose weight and do everything in a very like balanced, healthy way. Mm -hmm. That's why we got the cookbook of games, guys. Quick plug. Tanner likes that, huh? You like that business so guy? Do you have any plans to do like a big feat in your life of something? Like accomplish something huge? I really want to buy a home. And I really want to take care of my grandma and my mom. I just want to make sure that my family is even more well taken care of than I am. Like I said, I really want to get healthy as well. Okay. I really, by the time I, I come into my, my late 20s, early 30s, I really want to be the best version of myself. Ali's favorite activity, which is spending money that's not mine. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. We're going Are you shopping. Ready? We have a budget of four hundred and five dollars. We're gonna split that in half. The objective is for you to spend all that money and turn me into your perfect vision of a certified baddie. Just to make it a little bit more intense. Yeah. Fifteen minute timer. We have fifteen uh, minutes. You're. Yeah, we're I'm not. For her. And you're I gonna don't be picking for her. What the fuck you like? Half. Literally, scroll through my Instagram and you'll get an idea. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. The bottom's gotta be flashy, the top's gotta be chill. Like, I fuck with that, you know? The Vans ones, which are always really popular, and that one, perfect, yeah. There are the khaki ones, black ones for sure, cargos. Oh, a little flower. It's cute, but it's not what we're going for right now. Yeah. Um, we're running out of time, boys. We're fucking running out of time. 
Ten minutes. It depends on what pants, man. The pants make the outfit. What you guys this? don't know fashion. Look at you, Hawaiian shirt, man. Look at fucking Hawaiian shirt guy. And vibe in the back. Yeah. Something cute, clean. I feel like if we had a really chill fit, but then you pop with these, it's like it's over. Little pops of red, the khaki pant, and I have a long. I think we're gonna make him proud. If we fucking finish with two minutes left on the clock, let's see if he can do better. It's part of the fucking style, bro. Oh, oh shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> 30 seconds. Go get shoes. Go. Huh? Go get shoes. Shoes? Yeah. I don't have the money for that. We're broke. Boom. And I want those parachute pants up here. Done. Time right there, bitch. That's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. That's a certified bad bitch. This is a certified bad bitch. <laughs> Suck it. Suck on these bad bitch nuts, guys. That's right. Wait, you like it? Yeah. I did something, right? See, I do got the fashion sense. You're playing with me too. Yeah, yeah, you're like, oh. oh, oh. Wait, it's okay, we got it. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Oh yeah, dude. Appreciate it. A lot. Appreciate it. Charging by the minute, my time is very. I got one question for you. Yeah. What is something that you wish everybody watching this video knew about you? I wish they knew the backstory behind the bad bitch okay. and what it took for her to get here. The bullying of younger Allie. She went through a lot of shit. If I could tell her something now, it would be... <sighs> shit sucks right now. Okay. But you're gonna be okay. And you're gonna be happy. You're gonna find peace and along with the peace that you gain remember to always have gratitude and to never take it for granted a lot of people think that like i just woke up one day and i had all this confidence and it wasn't the case i was a very like shy closed off kid in my younger preteen eras and early teens when i finally started allowing myself to open up a little bit you go through so much shitty shit and mine just so happened to get my fucking 300 dollars combat boots thrown in the toilet by a bunch of fucking annoying ass mm. preteens and then the school not do anything about it because they couldn't figure out who did it at the end of the day it's gonna make you stronger you have one fucking life to live and if you're wasting it giving a shit about what people think about you then that's another life worth living if i could go back in time and take a glimpse into where i am right now i want to be someone that the young version of me would be proud of and i think that's what it is that's all i really want and i think that's what we're gonna do right now yeah because ali are you ready are you ready to face one of your biggest fears I am, but I need a pre-workout. Okay, okay. You know the funniest thing? I used to wear girdles in middle school. I used to wear shapewear in middle school. <laughs> That's why the bullying happened. Huh? <laughs> the final parts of these videos is to face my guests' biggest fear. You are the most uncomfortable when you feel like you're not wanted in a space. So I wanted to bring you to the most hardcore bodybuilding gym. There's something that we do in every single one of these videos in the workout, it's called the death set. There's no rules, and it's simply the goal to push yourself harder than you believe that you could. And I believe that when you do that, you build such a pride in yourself that it takes you for the rest of your life. I'm a little nervous, I'm a little nervy. This is the freaking crew. This is the freaking crew, man. What's going on, guys? What's up, dude? Good to meet you. What's your pleasure, name? Gabriel. Good to meet you guys. This place is truly made for everyone, dude. It, whether yeah. you're a 16-year-old person looking to start working out, all the way up to like some of our pro bodybuilders, man. I love it. Never feel weird. Never feel uncomfortable. This is a home for you, dude. So please. Okay. This is cool. We're in my favorite type of gym, and we're doing my favorite exercise, and this is Ali's most uncomfortable day. Like, you can't tell the demeanor changed just a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, I'm just choosing to do like a drop. You don't have to do that. And just go to a point where I feel like I pushed myself harder than I thought I could in that moment. Just tell me to keep going, you know? Push me like you would push your younger self or something. Oh my god. We're going. Do it. One more. <sighs> Okay, we need to do. One more, one more, one more, one more. One. Two. One. 
I'm not asking you to go to that level or anywhere close. Just go to a level that you just feel happy with yourself about. Uh -huh. That's it. Are you ready, Kelly? No. Okay. Easy. I got you. Easy. Okay. So we're gonna lift it up. I'm gonna spot you this whole time. Mm -hmm. Are you okay if I hold it here? Cool. So that's one. That's two. And that is three. Perfect. Oh, you want to mm -hmm. keep going? Okay. I guess we already started. Keep going to the point that you feel happy. Oh my god! I did not expect this. Ali, I'm gonna ask you, do you think you can do five more? Perfect, five, four, two, I'm not even helping, guys. Two more. Two more? Okay, one. <laughs> you got it. Good work. How was that? Do you wanna go again with this weight or drop the weight or cut it? Cut on five. What the fuck? Are you serious? Don't, don't do it if it's not comfortable. You can do it? Okay. Okay, easy, one, five. Can you do five more? Two, last one. Up. Good work. Okay, now this is what it's about. Do you want to cut it there? Are you proud of yourself yet? And on 20. Okay. Oh shit. I got you, let's go. One, two, four. I got you, don't worry about it. I got you. Five, eight, is that it? Oh, okay. two more, you got this, Ali. This is it, this is the last one. Prove it to yourself, prove it to yourself. <laughs> I'm proud of you, that was awesome. Yeah, I want to be someone that the young version of me would be proud of. Can I do a couple more? If you want, it's up to you. Good, let's go. Ten. Nine. Just five, four. Five. Just one more. Four. Three, two, one. You got this. Three. Two. Last one. You got it, Ali. I'm with you. Yes. 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 Yeah. Oh my god. Incredible. Yeah. That was awesome. And that is how a certified bad bitch <laughs> does it. I'm so proud. And a quick shout out to Damien for traveling all the way here to no, Tuck. No, no, no. Thank all you. the way to Tuck, Arizona, bitch. No, thank you. And I hope this is a message to all my fucking haters that anything you can do, I can do 10 times better. Get the fuck out of my face. We're done. Cut the camera. Okay, she's back. <laughs> This is my gift to you. It is a physical copy of our cookbook. It's every single recipe in this has a low calorie version and a high calorie version. So like the quesadillas, for example, you just scan this and then it'll take you- That's the famous ca quesadilla. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> really Fuck. This is for you. I'm here for the lesson to learn on the Giga Chat journey. And I think the lesson that I learned from you is for confidence. And I think confidence not only comes from going through fucking tough shit, your adversity in your life and getting through it, but I also think what I learned today is it doesn't matter what the person looks like, how strong, how long they've been working out, whatever it is, confidence is built in the little things like that every single day. And there's always somebody willing to outwork you. Somebody who might've never done it before who's working harder than you. So thank you for showing me that, Ali. I really appreciate that. And I hope now the internet will stop calling you Gorlock and call you Ali. I hope so. All right. It's, it was fun at first, but it's getting boring. Well, thank you very much. Thank I you appreciate so much. I really appreciate us coming out here to all of you guys. Peace, Peace out, out, you beautiful, beautiful sexy, sexy motherfuckers. motherfuckers. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Hey Coralock, what are-